just over 34 years, I've seen a lot of things. We only investigate major fires, fatalities, or high dollar loss, or arson, criminal in nature. Serial arsonist in Tacoma. Increases in assaults, robberies, and arson. Every call, there's some level of trouble. It's rewarding work, but it's not good work. The screams and the smells. We lived through that over and over again. That's continued repetitive trauma. Firefighters, if we're good at anything, I can wear a smile when I'm at work and do my job, but I also was gonna kill myself. Over 37% of first responders meet clinical diagnosis for PTSD. That's astounding. You're not just a firefighter. You're a dad, a mom, a brother, a sister. The sheer volume of things that you see, they're gonna have an effect. They're gonna take a toll. Not felt like there was some sort of a stigma attached to it. The fear of appearing weak. You got a front row seat to human tragedy. Self-care is not an option in this line of work. It has to be this way. When we're outnumbered in the line of duty deaths is when we really need to start opening people's eyes and going, what are we gonna do about this? Thank you.